Hi guys, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am working on a cradle board and I have spray painted it with a color called Macaw Blue. It's kind of like a uh, kind of like a periwinkle type. Uh, I don't know. It's very close to the color of my gloves. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of like a bluish purple color. So I taped the backs. And I'm just going to do a mixture of some colors, uh, the primary elements interferences, um, a couple of the primary element colors, plus Prussian Blue by Grumbacher, 24 Karat Gold by DecoArt, um, and golden carbon black. So I'm just having a, so I'm trying to see, I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a Dutch pour, but I want some negative space. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a line this way and then blow up that way and then align this way and blow down this way and then you leave this. That's my thought. And I might just use my airbrush because this isn't a very big board. So, so yeah, most of the colors that we're going to be using are blue. I may put some of this Vavoom Red in it just for a contrasting color or the Bling It Scarab Beetle. I don't know what I'm going to be feeling yet. So, all right, let's get this party started. I'm going to lay down I haven't used these in a while, so I had to spend quite a bit of time shaking them up. If you are putting your primary elements in a bottle, pre-mixed, you want to make sure that you shake them real good because all the mica and stuff settles at the bottom. So, okay. Let's see here. This way. Uh, I think I want to go up that way. And Now my way. This was the primary elements Payne's Gray. This one is primary elements uh, Hydrangea and it's mixed with Arctic Opal. And we will go with Primary Elements Pixie Dust. It's very pretty. It's 
going to be a lot of paint for this little of a board. But that's okay because I want it to do what I want. This is the blue interference from Primary Elements. Here's a Prussian blue from Grumbacher. It does not have a shimmer in it. No shimmer in one of my favorite colors of all times. And of course we have the 24 karat gold by Deco Art. which is gorgeous. I don't have the gold from Primary Elements yet, that Prison Pour stuff. It hasn't been released yet. But looking forward to it. This is the Bling It Interference Gold. Now I don't have a base paint down. Um, I will most likely put some paint on the edges, but I wanted to try it and see if I could just feather it onto this. So who knows? It might work, might not. I might just scrape it, but... All right, so let me add a little bit of vavoom to this. This is a gorgeous color. It's a primary element, vavoom red. All right, I think that is all. This is the interference violet. Now, because I don't have a base paint on, you know, I can get away with a little bit more paint. But, and because I'm going to use my airbrush, all right. So I'm going to outline this. With the golden carbon black. I've never done one of these pours without putting a base paint down. So this is really just an experiment <laughs> to see if it works. <laughs> Let me 
maybe put a little bit of black in the middle here. This black will also promote some cells because it's mixed with Floetrol. <coughs> All right, guys, let's see what we can create. Let me move my bottles out of the way because, well, I am sure I will get all kinds of paint on them. So remember we were going for some negative space. So I will blow a little bit out this way just so it's not a hard line. But I don't know how this is going to work. I feel like I should be putting some base paint down here and on the corner. But I don't know. The experiment is to not put base paint down, right? And I'm spraying paint everywhere. Okay, so of course it's not flowing the way it should, which we all knew it wasn't going to. But we're gonna see this experiment to the end. Okay, and because it's got like a real sharp line there, I'm just going to take it out just a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> just want it so that it's not a super super duper harsh line so I'm just adding a few more colors here to get it to go all the way over Bear with me, guys. We'll do something amazing, even if it's wrong, right? 
or we'll just scrape it. Just adding the same colors. This one I need some more up there. Just some of the interference. Come on, what's going on with my bottle? are just all three of the interferences, the gold, the violet, and the blue. have paint squirted all that way and all that way <laughs> but that's okay because when I was spray painting this I was going to take off you know you got one of those triggers that you put on your spray paint I was trying to take it off and it was pointed right at my face and it sprayed and I got like my mouth and the underneath of my chin. I was like, oh, glad that wasn't on video. Probably should have taped the sides because these sides are going to be atrocious.
I like it and I think that it's gonna look gorgeous when it's resin. Um, the sides are an issue for me. So, I am probably off camera because you don't need to see all that. I'm probably just going to take my finger and scrape the paint off the sides. Um, and then I'll just like paint the sides one color. Because there just isn't enough. Ooh, I almost grabbed that. There isn't enough, uh, paint on the canvas to go nicely over the sides. So so yeah, I'll be uh, I'll show you how it ends up turning out in a future video. I'll take you in on a, come on. Take you in on a close up. to perfect this a little bit more. Hang on. Okay. So, hang on, let me get rid of that. So, the sides, I'm just going to wipe off, off camera. And then I will um, just repaint them after it dries. I'll repaint them this this color, the, the spray painted color. But I love these colors all together. And I think it's gonna look amazing once the resin's on. So do I like the concept of not putting down a base paint? Yeah, it's something different, right? It's something that you gotta try once, maybe twice. The paint does not move as easily. So you really gotta work harder at it. So, I mean, it's not really a Dutch pour because I don't have any extra paint and I use my airbrush so we're just going to call it an airbrush pour but I like how the colors are intermingling let me turn off this other light so 
Sometimes it's really hard to see the That looks weird, don't it? So you got a lot of cool effects happening. Colors are amazing. So there you have it, guys. And uh, once I have it all dry and resined and all that stuff, I'll bring it back on a future video and uh, show you guys. But for now, that's my airbrush blowout and uh, without a base paint. So I will see you on the next video, and thanks so much for joining me. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'm going to work on these sides before they dry. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye.